I got a fire in me You're gonna set to burn Can we talk about this? You were doing exactly the, the thing that caused this group to fall apart. Oh, okay, oh my gosh, okay, so he's Polly, so what? So what? Victor, when you defended P, you guys didn't talk for years. Not days, not months, years. We need this family. I need this family. I'm happy, Isabella, I'm fucking happy. I know. And I'm not gonna apologize to P for standing up for her when she couldn't do it herself. Hey, don't go about it in the most mature way. I know. Hey, Isabel. Yeah. I know that you're really, really excited that I'm a guy, but I kind of get the feeling that you don't like me so much. I'm not a bad guy, I promise. I just, I really love Victor, and I just don't want you and I to get off on the wrong foot. It's not about you, Reese. Can we just go to the fucking beach already? Huh? Let's do that. <sighs> Shit. Can you unlock the door? Jesus. What, am I gonna jump in the trunk? Can I ask you something? Why did you ignore it? Why didn't you say anything back then? Or at the cabin? sad before. I had been in a place where I didn't want to exist anymore. A 
like this. This was on the rock bottom. I couldn't understand how Sarah was so happy while I was falling apart. <sighs> walked around like we were in two different worlds. I restricted my panic attacks to the bathroom and my car so they wouldn't see me. Reached out to Victor. That was probably my worst mistake. What the fuck is this? What? Did you tell Victor about us? I needed someone to vent to. Oh my god, you don't tell people about us, okay? That stays between us. Between us? Duh! Between the three of us? Oh. Or you mean the two of you? Because stuff stopped being between us. A long time ago. Peyton, you put me between you both a long time ago, okay? So you're saying it's my fault that you two lie. <sighs> Sarah. He threatened us, Peyton. Like, I, I've never seen Victor like that before, okay? It was pretty scary. Stop fucking talking about us, okay? God, how difficult can that be? They said that you threatened them. I sent them pages of text defending you. Did you threaten them? It may have come off that way. Maybe I was drunk and I was pissed, okay? Victor? I told you that in confidence. I, I thought I could trust you with it. I stood up for you. Threatening people isn't what I need. I live with them. I have to keep things civil, okay? Then leave. It's not, it, it can't just happen like that. Oh, okay, so you're just gonna live here with your abuser. That's what you're gonna do. Don't say it like that. That's what this is. Why can't you see that I'm trying to help you? Threatening people isn't gonna help me. Okay, well, good luck. I hope you get everything you want from all of this. Okay. <laughs> 
morning and Ashton was still on the phone. I think she saved my life that night. And we never talked about it again. I've never told anyone that. She doesn't get to see the ocean much. New renews her. Ah. She doesn't like me very much, huh? It's not you. <laughs> yeah, she does sometimes get mad mom angry, but that's because she does have a lot of mad mom love. <sighs> I needed this. So Reese, you always been in a polyamorous relationship? I've been in a few. It really works for me. I was in a monogamous relationship once. It almost ruined my life. What do you mean? I was in college. I had a group of friends like your VIP. And then I got into this game called World of Warcraft. It really sucked me in, but I was able to balance my VIP time with my gaming. And then I met this guy named Chris. We did these raids every night. That's like challenges that you do together. And those nightly raids turn into two, three times a day. I didn't go to class. I didn't see my friends. I didn't eat. I don't know if I was more obsessed with the game or with Chris. <clears throat> Eventually, I got kicked out of school, moved back home. I lived in a small town that didn't have internet. And then Chris decided he wasn't interested anymore. I lost everyone and everything. Wow. But hey, let's be honest. Monogamy works for a lot of people. But for me, polyamory just works really well. Should we... Get back in the water? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting rock bottom doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you less than. We are human beings that encounter a million variations of thoughts, feelings, and environments every single day. Hitting a point where you feel unable to manage all of that, it doesn't make you weak. I'd say focus on how incredibly courageous you were reaching out at rock bottom. Do you know how much strength it takes to keep going after that? <laughs>